Good morning and uh, welcome to Tableview Methodist Church. It's good uh, to be with you, to have you with us today. And I pray that uh, you'll have a, uh, enjoy the service with us. Uh, just before the service, we um, have some slides that play for about 15 minutes, just while everything starts going, especially seeing as we uh, try to share this live online. And so just enjoy the slides and take a moment to pray and to reflect on the verses and the images that appear as you wait for the service to start. May God bless you, and I'll see you in a moment.
Good morning and uh, welcome to Table View Methodist Church. It's good uh, to be with you, to have you with us today, and I pray that uh, you'll have a, uh, enjoy the service with us. Uh, just before the service, we um, have some slides that play for about 15 minutes, just while everything starts going, especially seeing as we uh, try to share this live online. And so just enjoy the slides and take a moment to pray and to reflect on the verses and the images that appear as you wait for the service to start. May God bless you. And I'll see you in a moment.
Good morning, Tableview Methodist. It's so good to see you. Well, uh, pretend I can see you. So good to have you with us, and I uh, trust that you've joined us online, live on uh, tvmethodist.online.church. And uh, during the service, you're welcome to um, interact in the chat um, section that you'll see as, you, as you're watching the service. And also, it'll help us if you sign in, uh, put a profile picture, uh, write your name, etc., so that we know you are there. And we can also chat, and there's opportunities to pray for you, etc. During the service, if you want to just chat to one of the hosts, uh, you could just say hi and, and share your needs. So also, um, you don't have to rush into that right now because you can um, enjoy the service and uh, explore that later after the service. We'll just uh, leave the, the service going for about 15 minutes after that. We'll also publish this service on Facebook and on YouTube so that you can uh, still still watch it the normal way. But we would prefer if everyone could join on tvmethodist.online.church and uh, we could be together. And we'll also be doing the service twice on a Sunday now, the 8.45 service in English and the 10.30 service in Isiklosa and English together later on. Uh, today we've also got uh, various people participating in the service and that's uh, cool for us. And so uh, I hand over to Nosipo who's going to welcome us this morning. Good morning everybody. I'm Nosipo Ngamu, one of Tableview Society students. Uh, welcome to Tableview Methodist Church and be aware that every person who walks through our doors is very important to us. As a group of God's people, we care about you and your family. And we are here not only to feed you spiritually, but to help in any way we can. Um, we hope that God touches your life as we worship and that you leave this place today with the peace of God inside. Amen. I've asked Corin to lead us in our opening prayer this morning. Blessed Lord, as we come together this morning, as technology allows, not physically in a building, but in spirit we join our voices from our lounge, our bedrooms, our gardens, wherever we might be right now, to praise your name in song and to worship you in prayer. Lord, we thank you for all you've done for us this whole week, that you've blessed us, provided for us, and kept us safe. Lord, Thank you for answering our prayers, for all we've asked, for all we've needed and you have provided. We ask that you keep your mighty hand stretched out over your children, Lord, for the coming week. Bless the message that we will receive today and bless the one who brings it to us. Walk with us this week, guide us, protect us. May we be a light to shine, may we be hands and feet for your church so that we can share our blessings with others and your love with others. Lord, we ask these things in your holy name. Amen. Don't care. 
gaso isangla sa ke ko ba inse ba za ke zimi go na pa ga te Ngoko Nikazule intlizo yenu kungabizi ngubu zenu ni kukukelege ya ova utiko wenu. Kukubaye nino fefe nengeba ikumba katino psibele bukulu no suzu ngububi. Kuyo ingosu tiko wetu kukwizbele nezikole elu. Nakubasi fugile nga kulo singa pula pula ngelili zilo ova lotiko wetu. Lukubasi ambe gimi tetu ya kaibegle yo pambi kwetu. Ndushwa ya ya ova koto ngukufanele gile yo kungabinge ngumbu yako. Seze undenze indu ingu nane. Kukukani, kubukumkani ba mazulu, sebu bufupi, ndia kusuka, ndia kubawo, ndia tikuye. Bawondo nile, nga kuli zulu, na sepsuen bako, ansafane lugu wizo mba ndinyana wako. Uze unga ngeene, kwebe nkwe skaka sako, nuk banga lungi lepsuen bako, na mnye utlili yo. Kwa shiku ene, si choyo kutas na bubono, si azkotlisa, ito na inyaniso, inga biko kuti. Kwa shiku ene, si zvuma izono zetu, nyansigle ya nulungi le ganjalo, Ukuza stole li zono zetu, aslambulule kuko kongunga lungileyo. Batandwa, ispawle smoele siya siya la kuindawu ngendawu. Kwa masifume sita li zono zetu ezninti. Nuku kotlaka la kuitu. Nukba nges nga ane ni sisi sifitle pso eni botiko na manja onke. Boba uwe to se zulu eni. Koko sube na kuku zitayla ngintli zue lula mileyo. Sube na kuku zitayla ngintli zue tobele kileyo. Sube na kuku zitayla ngintli zue elilayo. Sibe na kukuzitela ngitli zwe vayo. Ukuze si zuzu kole la kwa zonga bubu bele bako ni takhlo ke lge nambaliso. Kako oku ndi anitandaza, di niyala nongi nina nikoyo apa. Bama nindi peleke, nindi peleke ngitli zwe nwe ngileyo, nili zwe li lula mileyo. Sia salwe ni sofefela se zulwe ni, nisite mvien kwa hamu. Mauna manta onke? Uno fefe pezu konge, sipo sisile, sala seka ana nende la zako, jenge kushe zila segleyo, sikritile ngo glande la makinga ninga nuko zintri zio zeto, so nile, gaku yimi tetu ya kwe ngwele, siye gile zondo esinge si zenzile, asa zenza, senze zondo esinge singa zenzi, akono kpila kuti kota wena ngosi, 
uze wenze ngeta kukuti baposi sabantli zozi lusizi. Banyeme zele tiko, abo matlali sposo zabo, pilisa abo bakukuka yonjengo kutembisa kwako. Ukshunya ilwe ye bantu ini ngo krastu yesu ngo sietu. Uze utiba wo, onu fefe lupez konke, usi penge nga yake, kukubasite mvenu kwa galoku nje. Slali ntalo, epete shagileyo, slali ntalo lulungileyo, slali ntalo lulungatu, ukuze kutunye swe ikamalako. Kwa sisi ya kitanda za kulula bandu bako ya sposo nzabo, Sisi siti nga bubu bele bako bukulu, sisi ndi tanje zozo zono, sisi nzile ngu butata kabitu. Uze wenze oku bawe tezulwini. Genga yake u Yesu Kristu, ingo sietu, nomsi ndi suetu, utumise gayo. We read from Psalm 8. O Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and infants, you have founded a bulwark because of your foes to silence the enemy and the avenger. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have established, what are human beings that you are mindful of them? Mortals that you care for them. Yet you have made them a little lower than God, crowned them with glory and honor. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the seas. O Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Amen. Oh!
umthanda sowe tu wokala masufumane emakulwe ne tu page thirty seven umthanda sowe tu wokala page thirty seven inge kasha le si for esipopi sayo tito ona manta onge o watinge ngombo ya ku watu maisbe tu ebanduini ba ku entla ngonge ngai yekunge fa ku abu Moses no aruni o abu ya watinge kasha lika David ukumkani wapupi sama kwa kanga mashuma sikai nge sifo waba sinti sana kwa banye nge bubele bako iba nge ba kutiti nabu namba lusizi ababe tuwa yoka luku nje nge sifo esi kule sbanga ukufa uze uti nje nge kuba wafumayo kutala ukuba kusaulwe kwa singa anda esi tunyo sako kuba siyeke ukubulala vuma naka luku nje ususe kuti esi sifo si korona esi sifo si nzi magangaka Ngaye uye su kristi nko siye tu no msindi si we tu page twenty one page twenty one umtanda so we tu we sbini tiko ongu mtali wakolo no mtandi we nko lusano obu ti obu mibe tu obu nko napakate bube kongo kukwa zwena ongo nzo ili kululeko kanye uze usilwele tinazitakazile tinazitakazako ezlula mileyo kukoko nge ukulua kwencha bazi tu Sisi siti siku ni sile ukutemba kusule ni kwa kuchi singo yika manta baba sukba be yimpi kuti kenga ya manta kaya su Kristin kusieto mtanda zowe sta tu unko seba owe tu wasisule ni chiko na manta unko kuna paka to slondo los le yako atakuwa sanga le mini na mchanje usi slondo los enga yonga manta kwa makulu usi pe oko kubasi tinga le mini singa uye sone ni siti kanga lo singa ngeli zungozi ni. Siti zonke izenzo zetu sikwandu iswe ngu kubona kwako Sisa simana sisenzo kukulungle ebusu eni bako Tiko na mantonke mtombo wako kong kukulunga Siti ngolula mo siku tandazu kuba utamsa ngali sezonki nko sina mapakate Na bobo honga bane kunya logo kwebi miku impie lilizwe Baza liswe ngu moya wako ingwele Bajebi sengo fefelu wako lwa sezulini Bahambi se kukoko honke ukulungle yo Ute ubangini sebu kumkani ni bako mkuna pakate Tiko na manto honko mkuna pakate Kupela kwa wenzi mimangali semi kulu Kisela bonga bafundi sibe vangili yako na kuhonga mabanta ba wapete yo Umoya opili sayo wafefe lwako Uze uuti kuze ubakoli sebo kwenene Umana ubakiselu mbete wenzi girelo yako Yenza nkusu kuze kutunyi swe Umtetilili wetu no mtandaze di wetu Teto mtali no mlondolozu wa bobo honga bandu Sia kutanda za ngukulula mleyo Kenga yenka obozo honke za bandu Ukuba ubazi sinjela zako No pili solo wako lulondolo zayo Uluwa zise kuzo zonki ntanga Siti ngo kubalu lekleyo sitanda zedi khanende ngwele Ekulo lonki lizwe Ukuba ishale nge tamsanga Ize ikoke lwe ipatwe ngu moya wako lungleyo Bate bonka bazibiza ngu kutibanga makrestu Bakoke lwe nkilini nyaniso Beba mbe ingo longa nkizionye Beba mbe sene ngu tolo Beseli ngu kulungleyo Sitike ku Bebe la sba begi selebu bili ni bako Wena yise wabobonke abobabande selu ngenda wezi chile Emi pefumlu ini na semi zincheni na seku sali ini Nga kumbi kwa abo bafuna ukubasi batanda zele Abanda banjalo situe lukubabu nwabise Ubasi seksuli ni kwa abo Ubapunya mezelo ekutwale ni kwa abubu nzima Nempumelele sikelele kayo kuzozonki mbandeze lo zaabo tiko ona mmanjonke otengel kresha wa sipu fefe loko kuba siti nkantizi onye siku tanda ase nga banye ote kanjalo wa stembi sango kuba wuti kwa kusanga na babini no kuba batatwe gameni lako uba pizi ndo wa zelayo yenza kalo kungusi ngukungwe na nukutanda za kwetu tina zaka zako njengo kuba kusifanele si pengu usikwe lilizwe oko kuba siya zinyaniso yako usipeku lilizwe Veliza kubako ubo umi obu nkuna pagate
Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we thank God for the gift of knowing God in Trinity, a mystery that we can hardly explain or understand. But we can know that we are loved, that we are redeemed, and that we are uh, made holy through the power of God and the presence of the Holy Spirit. Just by way of notices to let you know that within our circuit, although I haven't heard of folks in our own congregation, just yet, there are some people who have been affected with the COVID virus. We pray particularly 
for one of our circuit stewards who is in ICU at the moment. And we pray that God would be with her and keep her and strengthen her and, and her family. Then also tomorrow afternoon at four o'clock, that's Monday afternoon, that would be the 8th of June, four o'clock, Monday the 8th of June, we're going to be um, collecting for food parcels again. So remember we're doing it every other week now and at 4 p.m. and on a Monday. And so I'm asking that instead of buying the mini portions that we've been buying, that you'd buy the bigger portions. Now remember the the coffees and the, and the jams and things are are extras. Uh, they're nice to have, but especially the, the, the rice and the, the mealy meal and those things, if we can try and give generously because we're trying to give uh, enough of a parcel to last someone for two weeks at a time rather than for one week at a time. And what's good about being able to buy the bigger portions is that it costs us less to, to give someone more food for, for two weeks. It's just that they would have to then ration it out a little bit for themselves. So please continue to give. Thank you so much for the generosity with which you have given. And I also ask you to please consider um, donating for food parcels. Also, thank you for continuing to support the church financially, especially at this time. The bank details are in the comments below, and uh, we'd appreciate it if you could uh, continue to give by EFT. And as we remember that moment of giving uh, by EFT, I'm going to invite Lucien Bock, our um, society treasurer, to lead us in our prayers of dedication of our offering. And so if you've uh, made your offerings, or if you will still make your offerings, um, let's dedicate that. And beyond just the money that we give, we give our lives and we give ourselves in service to God and His Church. So uh, over to Lucian to lead us. Yours, O oh Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the victory and the majesty. Everything in the heavens and on the earth is yours, O Lord, and this is your kingdom. We adore you as the one who is over all things. O our God, we thank you and praise your glorious name. Everything we have has come from you, and we give you only what you first gave us. Bless all hands and hearts that is given so willingly and joyously. Grant us wisdom to manage all funds for your glory and honor. We pray this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. We read from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, verses 16 to 20. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Amen. Thanks be to God for his word to us. And may the Holy Spirit help us to understand these words to our growth and hear the words of a preacher to our growth so that we may serve you more completely and more perfectly. Amen. Our preacher today is a special visitor and it's uh, Ian Ace who used to be the youth pastor here at Tableview Methodist Church and it's good to have him with us. And Ian uh, is preaching at two places today, at his church where he is serving while he's at seminary, up in Peter Maritzburg, and here. Uh, when I heard that he was recording a sermon uh, for the other church, I thought, well, that'll give me some time to work on the technology side of this thing so I can uh, improve our online services while we're still still doing them. So I hand over to Ian, and uh, thanks, Ian, for taking the service today. And... Uh, Enjoy seeing some familiar face. Yes. Good morning, family. Uh, warm wel welcome to you this morning. 
I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, which means whoever you are and wherever you find yourself, you are eternally loved. Uh, what a strange situation for me this morning as I sit here and record this. As I wrote the sermon, I was in Cape Town with my family during lockdown. Um, but as you listen to it on Trinity Sunday, the 7th of June, I am I am in Peter Maritzburg. I've, I've traveled across the country over the weekend to return back to seminary for Monday. Uh, and so right now, as you listen, I am in two places at once, neither here nor there, but exist, existing in both which is really quite strange, but strangely helped me to frame my thoughts while speaking about the Trinity, a God, one God in three persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. I know it's not exactly the same at all. Again, one of those metaphors that fall short, but strangely helped me just to frame a few of my thoughts. Now, it becomes ex exceedingly difficult for us to speak about the Trinity in any pure and perfect sense because any metaphor that we use to do so really falls short. Um, but I don't feel like it's pertinent for us to try to explain how the Trinity works, but rather just for us to understand that the Trinity works for us. Now, I don't necessarily understand the inner workings of my car, but I do trust my car to get me to where I need to be. And in the same way, the understanding of the doctrine of the Trinity isn't crucial to our faith, so much as understanding that there are three persons to the one God who work for us towards love and salvation. Augustine, who was a bishop and theologian around 400 AD, once said that anyone who denies the Trinity loses his salvation, but anyone who tries to understand the Trinity loses his mind. Now, I don't want you to lose your mind today, especially not over anything that I have to say, but it is crucial that we at least attempt to understand the three persons of God. Now, if we look at our reading that was read for us this morning, coming from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, verses 16 to 20, better known to a lot of us as the Great Commission, there's a certain line there that I want us to focus on, and a line that I believe might help us to, to understand some of our thoughts. And that's the line that comes in uh, verse 19 of that, where Jesus speaks final words to his disciples and, and charges them by saying, Go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. It is in the language of this text that we start to get an understanding of the Trinity, being baptized in the name of the three persons of God. Now, at the point when this was written, um, there wasn't necessarily an understanding of a doc doctrine of the Trinity yet, but it was understood through the teachings and promises that Jesus Christ had made, that Jesus himself was the Messiah, essentially God who had come down to earth for the salvation and freedom of humankind. Jesus often alluded to the God who had sent him, his Father in heaven to whom he prayed to frequently and taught about in his sermons and his parables. Jesus also promised to send a helper to his disciples, God's Holy Spirit, the self-same Spirit that descended from heaven in the form of a dove at the moment of Jesus' baptism. When Matthew's Gospel was written, about 50 years after the death of Christ, these three persons of God, the Father who created the earth and sent his Son, the Son who walked amongst us and died for humankind, and the Spirit who is promised and empowers God's children, would have been well known within the early church. One of the prescribed readings from the lecture for today came from Genesis chapter 1, which you're welcome to read. It was a very long reading, but it's really easy to find. It's right at the beginning on page 1. And in it, we read the account of the creation of the world, which was again written before there was any idea of a trinity or a triune God. It contains... Uh, the Trinity as we've come to understand it. We read that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And we know how the rest goes. God the Father was there explicitly to bring the world into being. God's Spirit hovered over the waters, ready to bring life to everything that was formless and void, to breathe life into it. 
And with a little help from John chapter 1, we can read, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. And so here we see how the early church perceived Jesus being the Word of God to have been present in the very beginning. Jesus is seemingly the Word that proceeds from the mouth of God, proclaiming light into the darkness. As God says, let there be light. It is through the Word of God that all things are made. Now, our problem as humans tends to be that we like to compartmentalize things. We want everything to have its own specific designated role. And so we try to understand the Trinity as such. We've often tried to understand it as God the Father uh, is the being who creates, God the Son is the being who saves, and God the Spirit is the being who empowers us. That's neat and that's tidy and it's very nice, but it's also very limiting to who God is. It's very limiting to the three persons of God. See, God the Father cannot be simply be creator, because the Son, which is the Word, was there, as well as the Spirit of God hovering over the water. God the Son cannot simply be Savior, because it is through the power of the Father who sent Him, and by the power of the Spirit that we are able to know freedom from sin and, sal uh, and salvation from sin. Even as I speak, some of this language that I'm using seems wrong and limited because we speak of the persons of God as if each one stands separate from the other, which is not the case. Each person of God is connected and linked to the other to form a beautiful and perfect unity with the other, a tri-unity, a three as one. So rather, we can start to understand that within God is unity. Within God is community. The very nature of the triune God is to bring God's creation back into reconciliation with God and with one another. All the commandments, all of Jesus' teachings, all the work that we see the Spirit does after Pentecost serves to unite all within God's kingdom. Last week, we celebrated Pentecost, the birth of the early church, when the Holy Spirit of God descended upon the disciples gathered in Jerusalem during the Feast of Weeks, and they were empowered to preach the good news of Jesus Christ, God the Son, to the gathered Jews in the many languages represented there. More than 3,000 people heard and believed and the early church was born. We see unity through diversity. A church of many languages coming together through the love and salvation of God the Son by the outpouring of God the Spirit. And if we've ever needed to celebrate unity with our God and with one another, it's right now during this moment in history. Never before have we felt as disconnected from our fellow people as we do right now. We physically can't hug one another, we can't shake hands, we can't even meet together right now for fear of spreading a virus that threatens the lives of the most vulnerable in our society, the very people that Jesus charged us to tend, tend to. What is more, we hear news of, of, of great injustice, a movement of protests taking place across the ocean after the horrible murder of George Floyd at the hands of a police officer in what can only be described as an act of racism. And we realize that not only has this pandemic forced us further apart, but in fact we were never truly united in the first place. A despicable act that happened in America and the public outcry from it has, has only reawakened us to our own injustice in our own country. Racism and ethnicity are still truly alive. Inequality and privilege are here and something that we still live with and as a church that celebrates unity within the kingdom of a triune God this cannot be okay and we cannot be okay with this we recognize in it our own sin our actions done and actions left undone and we must atone 
We must rally together, even if we can't be physically together at this time, to ask what can we do in this moment of history to build stronger bridges instead of higher walls. Perhaps Paul's words to the church in Corinth might spur us along and remind us of what is right. Brothers and sisters, Paul writes, rejoice, strive for full restoration, encourage one another, be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. He goes on to encourage them to greet one another with a holy kiss, but maybe during this pandemic we can ease up a little on that one. But may we strive for full restoration, a kingdom of unity under a triune God, encouraging one another to stand for love, to strive for peace, and to seek God's kingdom at all times. We are able to work together because the very word at the beginning of creation created us to do so. We were created in the image of the triune God, created to be united to others, which is why we are charged to unite all of humanity together in baptism under the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Holy God, Father, Son, and Spirit, united as one, be with us during this time. Remove from our hearts our selfish desires that seek only to promote our own needs and kindle rather in us the desires of your kingdom. Let us love those who know no love, and let us be hope to the hopeless. May those who know sorrow and despair find joy in our midst, as we seek to live harmoniously in your kingdom, one people, united as you created us to be. Amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters. I look forward to when I can see you again. Oh uh-huh.
Amen. And I've invited George Curry to say the final benediction for us as we say farewell to each other. But please, if you're uh, joining us at the tvmethodist.online.church uh, website, please stick around and uh, try out the chat facilities. We're trying this new thing. Uh, so it's not Facebook, it's not uh, YouTube. Uh, it's on uh, tvmethodist.online.church and we should be able to connect with each other a bit more efficiently and effectively there and even ask for prayer and be able to pray with somebody via the chat app which should also help God bless you thanks for joining us for our service today and I've invited uh, George Curry to lead us in our closing benediction may God bless you and keep you Amen can we all join in with a benediction by responding with the words in bold? May God bless us with discomfort and easy answers, half-truths and superficial relationship, so that we may live deep within our hearts. May God bless us with anger at injustice, oppression and exploitation of people, so that we may work for justice, freedom and peace. May God bless us with tears to shed for those who suffer from pain, rejection, hunger and war, so that we may reach out our hands to comfort them and turn their pain into joy. May God bless us with enough foolishness to believe that we can make a difference in this world, so that we can do what others claim cannot be done, to bring justice and kindness to all our children and the poor. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.